Hi! In this example, we're going to build a polynomial of p of x in which has the characteristics listed here. And so we have to be very careful when we're going to build this polynomial of p of x. So the first thing I advise is maybe to write down all the characteristics given. So the first thing they say is that the degree of p of x is equal to 3. The second thing they said that um, at x equals 5 is a root with multiplicity of 2. The next root they give us, negative 2, and this is with multiplicity 1. And then they give us a, a last piece of information in which the y-intercept is y equals negative 10. And recall the y-intercept essentially means when x is 0 and the y is negative 10. Excellent. So now what we can do is now build this polynomial. So we know all zeros, so the first thing I want to note are all zeros are factors. The multiplicity are exponents. So let's go ahead and start. So this would mean that p of x is equal to, well, some leading coefficient a, whatever that may be, times, and let's write our zeros as factors. Our zeros were given as x equal 5 with multiplicity 2 and x equal negative 2 with multiplicity 1. So we have x minus 5 with multiplicity 2 times x minus a negative 2 with multiplicity 1. Okay, and just simplifying this a little bit, we get p of x equals a times x minus 5 squared times x plus 2. The last thing we need to find is the leading coefficient a. Well, one piece of information that we need to identify is the fact that we ha haven't used the y-intercept. And so maybe we'll have to use it here. The fact that the y-intercept is at negative 10, meaning the ordered pair is 0, negative 10, we can use this to plug and chug to find a. So we'll let... Um, 0, 0.0 negative 10 sub 4 to find a. Okay, so if we have p of x that is equal to a times x minus 5 squared times x plus 2, and we have the ordered pair 0, negative 10, so negative 10 will be over here as the y, and then we'll put in 0 for x. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll have negative 10 equal to a times 0 minus 5 squared times 0 plus 2. All right, just simplifying this out, we get negative 10 equals negative 5 squared times 2. And we can easily simplify this by having negative 10 equal to 25 times 2, which is 50a. And if I divide each side by 50, I would easily be able to solve for a. And therefore, a would be equal to negative 1 -fifth. And there we have it. So now we can say p of x is equal to negative one-fifth times x minus 5 squared times x plus 2. And notice that the last piece of information we can use is the fact that the degree of this polynomial should be 3. Well, notice here when we wrote it over here in the beginning with the degrees and the multiplicity, we could see that we had a factor with degree or multiplicity 2 and a factor with multiplicity 1. 
and therefore if we add these two together, we get 3 in which if I were to FOIL all this out, the leading term would have a degree of 3. Okay, I hope this helps.